morning all it's a lovely glorious sunny day it's saturday the 17th of july and today i'm going to get my bees so yeah let's go get the little journey today i'm going to go collect my bees from a, a person who's been doing my nuke uh, in langstroth it's a maize mall nuke and i'll do a little five minutes if that's about that when i've had a chance and there's no bees in it and then i'm going to finally get them in a hive just behind there so I'm looking forward to it. Come with me on the journey. Let's go pick up the um, bees and then we'll um, have a look at um, just putting them in there. Okay, we've got the bees. There's the hive that will go in and I'll move them into that. And there is the nuke. It is a Langstroth nuke. I will show you that a bit more details later. But what I'm going to do, and uh, it's two approaches. Some people will just say, when you get them in back, just get them in the hive that you want to. Personally, what I prefer is giving him a chance just to calm down. So I've literally just put that there, and I'm gonna just wait, uh, just literally about five minutes. Give them a chance to just calm down. I've just been driving for about 20 minutes, having carried them in here. And you can hear that they are buzzing away um, because obviously they've had a bit of a bumpy journey. That's not what bees do. So I'm just gonna give them a, a few minutes just to calm down. And then as you can see there, there's just some sort of like sponge, which has uh, been there and I'll just pull that out and give them a chance just to do some orienteering. And then this afternoon, um, later on in this video, you'll see I'll actually transfer them into the hive. Now you see where I've actually put them. I put the nuke in pretty much in front of the hive that they are going to be in. Uh, excuse the pun. And um, we're just going to sort of just um, putting them there so that when they do get used to this a bit of orienting and things and when, when they come back, they'll know where the hive is actually going to be. Um, it's going to be around there um, and they'll easily then, particularly when we transfer the bees in, um, we'll probably see some bees coming out onto the landing board and the pheromones will be coming out. So that small distance wouldn't then not make any difference to the bees when they're actually wanting to sort of, um, well, when I transfer them and those that are out and about that may have begun foraging, um, they will come straight back in. Okay, so it's f about five um, minutes, definitely less than 10 minutes, I'd say, since we actually put the bees down. I can actually hear, and if I get my phone close, you'll hear them buzzing. And that is just them, you know, they're calming down. Now I'm going to just take this out, this plug, and then we'll see, and let them go out and start orientating themselves. There we are, and there they go. Hello, ladies. Now, I think we can officially say that we are now beekeepers. We actually have bees in the apiary actually flying around. Now it's very common that what we're going to do is just pile out at the moment. Now I'm not wearing any protection, as you can see here. Uh, Muriel's just behind me, and uh, you can just see they're all going to climb out. Now it's quite a, quite usual and normal. They've been sort of a bit shattered. They don't know, you know, bumped around in the car um, while they've been travelling. Not something they've been. They've been normally they'd be flying from probably at this time of year um, by five o'clock in the morning. It's now um, half past ten. So I've been trapped in there for say, another five hours, five, five and a half hours more than they normally would be. And they're a bit curious about trying to get out. Um, but as soon as they pop their head out, they're going, hang on, this isn't the same place we're used to. So what we're going to see is they have a look at the actual flying pattern of the bees. They're just going, they're not just heading straight out, which you'll see in future videos. They are just literally flying around and around, a bit like pigeons, racing pigeons. Because what we're trying to do is just orientate themselves. This is all new. So it's quite fascinating watching um, bees when you do move them. And what you can also see if I move forward, you can see that some of them are just fanning um, there. Um, again, it might, might be, it might be warm in there really because there's a mesh underneath. So one good thing about these uh, nukes with mesh, uh, mesh at the base uh, as a floor, they, they're never going to get too hot when you um, and block them up for transport. So one reason why I consider this um, to a maze more uh, nuke. 
but yeah, anyway, we'll leave them to it, and this afternoon we'll actually transfer them into their final hive. Uh, well, maybe not the final, final hive, because when I get the actual um, hive that I ordered originally from Hide Hives, um, um, which I've been told I should actually get next weekend, um, we'll be moving them into that one as well. Hi all, Eric Brian here, and I've actually got Muriel, you can just see here as well. So she's wearing the Queen Bee suit and I'm wearing the Pro Sentinel 2, both by um, Old Castle Farm Hives. Um, anyway, we've now, um, as you saw earlier in this video, we've got the nuke and we're finally beekeepers. But what we want to do is transfer them into this hive. Now, first, first of all, let me just undo the, these latches on. I only had these on for the transporting because I didn't want to obviously um, let them to come apart if something were to happen. I did have them nicely wedged in, but still I didn't want to do extra cautious and keep them there. So, so this is the first time I would have opened this up with these in. Now before I do that, I'm going to obviously just get prepare this. Now I'm going to have the bees coming in from this side, which is why the nuke has been placed here. This is going to be for the, um, the syrup that we're going to have just now, and then we'll actually do a bit more about that. The crown board moving here, uh, on the side, and what I'm also going to get is the end board here. Because what I don't need is five frames in here. I don't need to have all 20 frames potentially with um, at the moment. We've got to give them some chance to actually grow out. And as a reminder, I'm using um, plastic, but wax coated plastic frames. Now the reason I'm doing this is twofold. A, they'll last a lot longer. And if I need to sort of get rid of or clean it up, I can just literally take a hive tool, scrape all off the wax, uh, clean and sterilize it again, and I could use it again. But that's not the main reason I'm using it. The main reason is that when we are inspecting, I can have a very quick look. Because of a black background, you can imagine with tiny little white eggs, or a little pupa, we would actually be able to see very, very easily. So what I want to do when I do do this is I'm going to have one high, one, one frame there, put the five frames in, in the same order that they are in this nuke. What I'm going to do is effectively just probably just put them in like that, in the same order, and then I'm going to have one frame at the end here, and I'll have one more frame at the end, and then I'll put the that board in here. So I know that that's where I, I, what I'm going to have to do. I know I've got more space than I actually need here now to put those in there. And that's it really now. So I am going to open up um, for the first time this hive with these in. So, so I had them in here just to have a look. So if you can actually see those bees, they're a lovely little color, um, quite dark, um, but with uh, quite a fair amount of yellow um, striations on their abdomens as well. You can see them all over that thing. Now, I've just picked that up, and one of the reasons I picked it up was just to make sure there is no queen. None of them are a queen, because obviously if they were, I'd want to make sure that they went in there, and I had my, my key queen catcher just in case. I'm going to put that down in the front so they can climb up. Now, this was the crown board. It's just gently lifting it up. Put that down again, no queen on the back there or on top. The same reason. And then here. Yeah. Now, what I've been told with these maze moles that I shouldn't really start right at the end if it's touching. Now this high this frame here on the end is not right up against the edge. So what I'm just gonna do is gently move the through these. Now you might notice I haven't actually done any smoking. They are quite docile. So that I'm going to try and not do it. But if they do get a bit um, sort of feisty, which hopefully they won't, all I've got in here is some water with a little bit of um, sugar syrup that I made um, earlier today. Now I'm not going to take too long because they've had a bit of a journey today. So all I'm going to do is lift these up and then transfer them. And as I said, I'm going to transfer them in the same order. There you are, ladies. Up we come. Well, this is actually quite a heavy frame. I think they've definitely built it up. I'll show you quickly just to make sure. Just on the side, so I've got more control. 
a quick look. Uh, there's lots and lots of pollen in here in the center and around the edge is um, lots of nectar. Spin it around slowly to have a look. I've been told that the queen, it's because there's a 2021 queen, um, she is yellow, or, or white, sorry, but just there so you can actually see what she's like. I will quickly show Muriel as well. And in there, all that yellow is pollen. So let me have a quick look. See all that pollen in there? So, and all the way around, this is actually honey or syrup, depending on what they um, have done. Now, you can also see from what I've done, yeah, let's see that, that way around. So I'll get them in the same order. And then put them down. These are really lovely docile bees. I was expecting to have a little bit of... Now, I'm not too fussed about trying to find the queen. It's obviously always a good thing to see the queen, but generally, that's not my purpose today. But if I do see her, it will give me a bit of confidence, but also I want to make sure that she is going into the hive and that I haven't left her out or dropped her again. Nothing there. Lots of little lava in there. Yeah, hopefully you can actually see that right in the middle um, on that side. And on this side, we've got sealed brood in the center, surrounded by pollen with a bit of nectar and then um, some honey. Get okay, going, show Muriel. That's the seal blue food in the middle, the pollen, and around the edge, the seal honey. If I turn around this way, you can see all the little grubs in the middle. Little like caterpillars inside, the white thing. The white speckle. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, three, three, there you go. One. There's still no queen yet, but we've got three frames to go. Now this Maysmore uh, hive or nuke is obviously a poly nuke. I decided to go with that just because it will hopefully provide a bit more stability. But I really wouldn't have been fussed if I used my, well, look at all that seal brood in there. Just spin around just to be sure. Still no queen on this frame. Well, she could be right at the bottom, or she could be on one of these other two frames. Quickly mix, eh? yeah. Seal blue prints uh, surrounded by honey. Yeah. Or, there we go. Oh, I'm about to feel like I'm going to sneeze, which is always a good thing when you're in a bee suit. <laughs> uh, two more frames to go. Again, well, Peter, who from Hertfordshire Bee Supplies, who I got this bee, these bees from, he was telling me that this strain that he's got here, I'm just having a quick look, no queen on here, he actually got this as a swarm in their garden, or it was in his father's garden at the time. So no queen on this. Again on there, you can see seal brood all the way around and some honey um, as well. And on this side, even more so, um, and lots of brood uh, just at the bottom. Here. Look around here, which is about to be sealed. Just in this corner. Can you see that? Mm. So, nice doing it. There we are. There you are, ladies. Hope you're hope you going to enjoy your new home and a long hive. And in the last frame, and if she's not on here, I'll have to just check to make sure. Now, if I don't see her, one of the things I will do is obviously try to get as many of these bees that are left in the nuke into the into the hive. But I will then just come back out in a you know five minutes, five ten minutes later, just to make sure that um, that she she hasn't dropped out the queen that is and because if she isn't in the hive they will begin clustering around her now this is the outside frame and this has just got some pollen but mainly nectar around don't see any eggs um, on either side and no i haven't seen the queen in there but i have a look in the bottom of the box so that's the 
that's all five of the frames that I put in. Now when I originally did this, I did actually two of the frames. I purposely actually put in wax foundation just to make it easier in case they didn't like having anything else. Now I'm just having a quick look in here. Nice. Oh, here's the queen. She's actually, I don't know if you can see her there. She's over here. Just running around here, going into the bottom of a box. So I do want to make sure I look uh, capture her and she goes in. I'd rather not bang her into, uh, into the nuke. So I've got my queen catcher and I just hope she'll come out and I will be able to catch her with my queen catcher. If you don't mind a little second, now where's she gone? Oh there yeah, she is on the side. There she is. Got her with a couple of her attendants in there. Oh, there she is. So very carefully. She's gone down. Oh, she's on my hand. <laughs> there you are. Okay, so she's just gone in here and just gone down into the frame herself. Well, now that's great because at least I know we've got a queen in there. Um, so we've got a queen right high, as some people would call it. And what I can then be is slightly less cautious about damaging a queen because we know she's not in here. So what I'm going to do, which some might think seems a bit drastic if you're not used to beekeeping, but it is actually very, very easy. Just make sure it's none underneath and go bang. And then hopefully it's Whoops. Got that came apart. Don't worry, and I'm, all I'm going to do is put the, leave this here. So that was a little accident. I told you this is our story of our, our journey beekeeping, but that's it. Now I don't want to do too much interruption at the moment, so all I'm going to do is put this back on top. So after moving one more frame there, and have the end board up against it as well. So that means that the bees, now they've, instead of being a five frame colony, they are a seven frame colony. And I've got all the extra frames and I've got a whole lot of others which I've got ready to go in here. Now I'm not bothered, I'm going to come back just now and I will put in uh, one of these feeders. But right now I am not too fussed about, um, you know, the, these colonies being as they are. And if any bees do come out and are trapped in here, because we've got the, I'm just putting it down gently, because we've got the extra, um, bee escapes there, we know that they will come out. So I'm going to now just leave them for a couple of minutes and we'll just do another bit of filming in respect of the um, putting in the syrup that we made earlier. Now, one final thing also I like doing is making sure there's always some water around. Now, I do know that our neighbor just on this side they do have a pond, so it's not really that cautious. Now I've got one of these, which is a, just an entrance feeder, which some would put in, inside there. Now I don't like entrance feeders, and I'll do an explanation about that in the future, but what I do like them for, which is quite nice, is that they can be used for um, just giving some water. So just putting that there and having it down near the ground. I'm not bothered if there's some other insects to enjoy it, um, as well but it's just down there near the entrance and they'll be able to sort of have some water if they really want it. So I'm going to leave that there against for those bees to go back up. We'll have, start having the bees coming out uh, in the, um, just now in the and you'll start seeing them probably fanning and the other bees will just go in even though there's quite a few lying, um, flying around right now. I don't know move. Do you feel at all threatened? Do they feel really no, quite quiet and docile? Busy out of the night, if you if you're used to bees, you'll you'll hear the difference in the tone of their wings when they um, are aggressive and things. And these guys, I don't think, or these ladies, should I say, I don't think have once changed their t the tone that they actually had at all. Now, maybe if I do it this way, part of it, and just form part of their landing board. leave it like that and I'll come back in a few minutes and I'll bang whatever is left in there that hasn't gone into the hive. But yeah, that was a nice easy process and that is just transferring um, some frames from a nuke into a long hive. And if you just have a look here, this lady's just come out of the escape there who was actually inside. So we know it works. 
Hi right, guys, so we've just been putting in the bees and I just what I didn't mention at the beginning is uh, uh, today is July the 17th. It's 26 degrees um, centigrade, which is around 78 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's a glorious sunny day. Hi all, so we've still got the bees flying around after I put them in. Just going to put some syrup in. So here we are. That's come out, which has been there. Um, you know, so docile, considering it, we are just moved in and I dropped part of the nuke. Now all I'm just going to do is pour in that syrup that we had. So I've got more. Now, so what I try and do here is, one reason I don't like the feeders at tip, is that those feeders at tip, you end up having to drip some of them either over the frames in the comb, or you end up doing it um, you know, on the ground away, which can attract pests or um, robber bees. So by doing that, just a you know, nice amount there, a bit more. And a tip I was given about these, this is a British feeder, a UK feeder, is just drip some down the side, then they will come up. Because I think that there is some food, they get the drip idea, and then they'll come up and actually do that. Obviously cover it up so that if they do any do come out, then they're not going to get drowned in there. And that's it. And because that's a four litre um, thing, then that's going to be, that's it. We're just going to sort of now, it's been about five minutes. We know the queen's in here, um, but we got the, the floor of the nuke still there and you can see the mesh. But what I want to do now is just say, go home by yourselves. And so I'm going to bang them all off. There'll, there'll be a bit of a cloud of them here. But before I do that, I'm just going to move the chair and the, the strap. What I don't want is anything to be in the way that they start associating with the entrance. So I'm putting it over there, away, and I will do it. Now what I'm going to do, and actually, can you move? Let's look here. All pollen on these. Considering that it was only this morning, Where? there's a number of the bees here that actually have pollen oh, on them. So, here we are. So, for, for just a few hours, they've already found a pollen source over here. So, that's it, good. So, it's nice to know that there's something in flower right at the moment that they are feeding on. So, all I'm gonna do is bang these out. There's also quite a few on the bottom. So, I'm just gonna bang them all off. It'll be in the air, but that's it. There we are. And you notice I'm again doing this, no hands, and hey, they're well, enjoying it. Well, whatever. I'm going to move these away and move this away, and then they will just fly. And because they've been here for a couple of hours or more than that, about four, four hours, they should have already be orienting to this um, area. And the pheromones in the air anyway will attract them. So that's it. Well, that is the final bit of us getting our bees in our home apiary and we finally beekeepers. Yay! She's fine. I've got one little bee investigating around my head at the moment, but she seems just curious. But as you can see, they're very um, good flying. They've obviously started orienteering themselves. I've been seeing, just been looking at them, and as I was earlier, some more with some pollen. Not the majority of them, but the odd one. And they seem absolutely fine. Well, good for day one um, as a beekeeper in Hertfordshire. So please do like, um, subscribe, and if you want to keep informed of our story, do go and do the usual bell, and, and then you'll be notified as and when we do sort of post any new things. Thank you for watching. I hope this was a useful exercise and just watching how we have decided to um, transfer a nuke into our long hive.